battle chance to get 30% off your entire order over at gfuel.com and the Modern Warfare Launch Weekend Special using code ESPRESSO. If you're interested, check it out. Link in the description below. Gold Camo is an insane grind this year. When we talked pre-release, Joe Seacott told me that they clocked their estimated average time of completion per weapon to be 16 to 18 hours. That's one weapon. Now, while many of you guys may be going specifically for gold and realizing that it takes a little bit less time than that, it still doesn't change the sheer fact that any way you spin it, it's going to take some time. It's going to be a grind. For perspective, I've used almost exclusively the M4A1, and then in the last two days, the Kilo in attempts to complete their gold challenges going one at a time. That's kind of the only way I can keep my inability to stay on track in check, but for those two weapons, it's taken me over a day of playtime to complete. 26 hours. I'm sure I could probably have been a little bit more efficient with those challenges, but I've been going exclusively for those two weapons in that time. Now, throughout posting my progress on Twitter, or even here on the channel on the Gold Guide video, the resounding question that I've seen asked is, how do you deal with the kills shortly after reloading? To which, that's what I want to discuss here in this video. How can you get more kills shortly after reloading? Because that was perhaps, to me, the longest lasting challenge. But if you have the right loadouts and approach of attack, you can actually knock those out relatively easily. So that said, before we jump into it, let me know if you'd like to see some more specific guides, tips for long shots, headshots, mounting, and so on, and perhaps even specific weapons. Maybe you want to find out the best loadout to knock out challenges with the M4, the Kilo, the AK, the AUG, and so on. Also, do be sure to subscribe if you're new. We're still very much so in the thick of the Modern Warfare content, so if you're part of that 67% of viewers that are not subscribed, be sure to change that to stay up to date with all the daily content. But first, let's talk about the criteria. What defines a kill quickly after reloading? To me, so far, I've found that there's a time parameter of around 2 to 3 seconds. I haven't really been able to pinpoint it exactly, but I'm thinking the former that it's around the two second mark. And if that's the case, then you're really in for a quick engagement after you finish your reload and get your weapon back to center. Now, I've seen a lot of people saying this may be bugged, to which I'm not taking away from that statement. It very well could be bugged, but I ended up thinking this, especially on the Kilo, where I thought I was getting kills very quickly after reloading, but whenever I checked, I didn't really get any progress. But then I changed that mentality. I changed a little bit of how I approached the situation. And I thought to myself, okay, what if two seconds after that reload is completed, is that max. And then whenever I started to take that into account, I started to change out to the things we'll talk about in this video. That's when I started getting them a lot quicker. And in a couple of matches, I was completed with it. And one thing that I've seemed to notice is that the timer doesn't conclude when you land your first shot to sort of chain that together to expand the time frame. You have to end up securing that kill within that time frame as well. So whenever that reload is completed, you have that timer going off in your mind and that's when you need to complete it by. So for that reason, you want to consciously be aware of where you're going to be shooting and if at all possible, have them in your sights before even reloading to give yourself that extra ability to complete and secure that kill. So let's talk about the tips. Let's get into how you can actually help yourself get these a little bit quicker. Firstly, one thing that I'll say actually may seem a little bit unorthodox. It might be something that seems incredibly weird when you do this because you probably don't do it naturally. But first things first, when you spawn in or get close to where there's a lot of combat, shoot one bullet so you have, say, 29 out of your 30 rounds in a magazine. Doing this will allow you to end up having the ability to either, one, find an enemy and be able to reload before they run away or anything like that so you can take your time with it, line up the shot, and then get it ready to go, or... If somebody, say, pops around the corner and you need to get your gun up for a gunfight very quickly, you'll have ample amount of ammunition to take out that enemy. It's not something where you'll have six rounds in a magazine or something where you might miss two initially and then with one, and so therefore three of the four needed to kill land, but you're out of ammo at that point. It just simply offers you enough to take a gunfight, but also enough to spot an enemy, reload, and then take them out with ample amount of time. It just comes down to allowing yourself the ability to succeed in both types of situations you may encounter when trying to tackle this challenge. Now, if you are a confident player, there is a second part here to this because maybe you don't necessarily need to scout out from the outskirts of the map. Maybe you don't need to take an engagement at a long range or have to sneak up on somebody. If you're a confident player, you can get in the thick of it. The other day when we talked about our gold camo guide, we showcased that one clip where I was just running through the outer portions of A onto Vorst District and getting kill after kill after each individual reload, a sort of ring around the rosy effect where you just pop a player, turn, reload, turn back. 
back, pop a player, repeat. From this tip, you're gonna be in danger. But the best locations that I can think about with this are a couple of spawn trap locations. D on Karst River Quarry is fantastic. That's where I've found a lot of success with this. Another one being the spawn trap on top of D Canopy or Rooftop Courtyard in Tavorce District, whatever you want to call it, where players will funnel out of E in their back HQ in the street, and you can pop them off like fish in a barrel. But again, that is if you are confident enough, you can go right from the start, get a streak going, and reload with each kill. Now, if you do this where you take multiple engagements almost seemingly head on, it is something that is going to take a combination of your confidence, ability to quickly spot enemies, and depending on how you reload, whether you ADS with it or not, your ability to snap to an enemy. This also may test your ability to control your recoil, but as we've mentioned, and will mention again if we continue with, say, long shot kills as a guide, it's something that the loadout on your weapon helps, but perhaps the best way to help yourself is to crouch or mount the weapon. But if you have that confidence, those spawn trap locations will allow you to get a kill, reload, and then quickly snap to another enemy. But again, you'll probably be out in the open or subject to a lot of players targeting you. One other huge tip that, again, changed the entire perspective I have here on this challenge, and moving forward, I'm definitely going to be doing it exclusively when going for this, is to reload when ads This is something that the timing can be tough, but if you have your weapon ads as is, you'll be able to get your time down by just a little bit, which is absolutely crucial because you won't have that time where you have to bring your gun up to ads Instead, you're just already in that ads position, which means that you shave off a quarter second, a half second, depending on what kind of weapon you're using. The enemy can literally be in your sights as you click that magazine back up into the weapon. That is absolutely huge. And when we talk about, again, that time parameter of when your magazine is clicked in, when you finish that reload, you have about two seconds max to get a kill. Well, I don't know about you, but I'd certainly love to have the enemy already in my sights and just be able to go from click pull the trigger, kill secured. Another big helper here with this and a tip that I would recommend for any class setup using this is the sleight of hand perk. To me, this is an absolute must. While there's a ton offered in terms of weapon customization in Modern Warfare, at least so far through the rifles that I've worked with, I haven't found any attachments that will allow me to speed up my reload or modify those base speeds in any capacity, save for sleight of hand. This year, sleight of hand isn't an overall perk like we've seen before, but instead is a weapon perk, which counts as one of your five weapon attachments attachments for your custom classes. It does what it always has done, increase that speed at which you reload, and while that challenge is from where your reload is completed to when you get that kill, not when you initiate the reload to get the kill, it doesn't change a whole lot in terms of that time parameter and what you have to do with your weapon, but what it does do is allow you to get back in the action quicker, meaning that if you have an enemy in your sights, you won't lose them as quickly as if you didn't have them. That's the one thing that I was tremendously happy with when using this is that it saved me from having to see an enemy duck into cover or into an alleyway or something like that after they were already in my sights and I was just waiting on my reload. That is the absolute worst thing to see whenever you're going for these challenges and consciously know I need X amount more before I complete it, so Sleight of Hand is an absolute lifesaver in that regard. Another thing that is something you may not consider, but is also something you want to keep in mind is using just the standard mags. Now, this again kind of compounds on the sleight of hand adjustment here, where it doesn't necessarily change anything that will help you specifically secure a kill quicker based off of your weapon itself, but it is something that will allow you to find and track players and kill them before they may leave your field of view or your sights. So normally the standard mags are the quickest on those reloads, but when you add in, let's say, the larger round drums or even the stick mags they can add a little bit on to what the timing of reloads may be so the quicker you reload the quicker an enemy can be in your sights so the main tips are just simply how to get yourself back into the action and get those kills literally as fast as possible so a quick little recap before we jump in the best ways to do this in terms of game modes is to again make sure you have the ability to reload before you jump into a gunfight I do that normally by just shooting a round off, and I have 29 of my 30 rounds in a magazine to start. Then when I find a player, I'll have myself ADS'd, and then I'll end up reloading real quickly with sleight of hand, and then getting that kill off in a very short period of time. But in terms of the best locations to do this, 
personally, again, I hate to always suggest ground war, but that is the best way that I've found to get any progress here on this. 6v6, 10v10, it doesn't work as well because there's just not as many players. Sure, ground war will have larger maps, but it is something that there's always going to be players and larger chunks of players that you can end up engaging. 10v10 and 6v6 are likely going to have more situations where players are spread out across sometimes larger maps, and so therefore you may have an enemy in your sight, but whenever you reload, they may be gone. They may have ducked around a corner into an alleyway or something like that, and therefore it just decreases that amount of potential for each kill. One thing also to say, though, is that a lot of the times Ground War has some very nice, as much as I again hate to say it, spawn trapping locations where it's very predictable. You can end up knowing that players are going to funnel out right to you ADSing them. And so therefore, if you end up reloading right before that and get that kill off, it's just something that helps secure more opportunity to get those kills. One other tip also when playing Ground War is to have that map awareness. You do have that mini map and chances are you should have a teammate that at least gets a UAV up every so often. And so therefore, you can try and save those reloads and predict when you should use them. If you know somebody's around a corner, you can end up reloading and then jumping that corner instead of, say, going over right next to them where they could kill you and reloading right before for that so you could end up getting that jump on them and also meeting the criteria by simply just knowing where players are and utilizing that map awareness to your advantage but overall that's kind of where i'm at here at this one it is something that i'm sure will definitely be a grind still going through many of the other weapons that i have left but i wanted to give you guys my tips and help you secure maybe a little bit easier of a route to go get gold on specific weapons i know that was again a huge question i've been asked throughout my two gold guns and so therefore just want to share my opinions and what i found to be helpful in the process but anyways that's where we're gonna wrap it up hopefully this helped you out in some way shape or form let me know your thoughts in the comments down below is there anything in particular you think maybe i missed that you'd like to add to this list of tips maybe something that you'd like a little more clarity on whatever it may be feel free to let me know your thoughts but hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things modern warfare but yes also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram those are the best places to get kind of come outside of youtube practice live on both those if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.